I bought my first MacBook about a year ago and honestly it completely changed how I work and create. But here's the secret. The real power of a Mac isn't just the hardware, it's the apps. Over the past year, I have discovered some incredible premium apps that have made me faster, more productive and honestly just made my Mac more fun to use. Today I am sharing 11 of my favorite apps that I think every Mac user should try. And the cool part, most of them are available on Setapp, a subscription service where you pay once and get full access to over 250 applications. I mean talk about a better deal than that. If you are interested, I will leave a link down in the description so you can check it out. Now without further ado, let's get started. First up is CleanShot X. The built-in screenshot tool on macOS is fine, but CleanShot X is on another level. I use it for scrolling screenshots, screen recordings, quick annotations, even blurring sensitive info before sharing. For example, when I'm making tutorials or thumbnails for YouTube, CleanShot X saves me so much time. Instead of creating cluttered files, it automatically copies the screenshot to my clipboard so I can paste it straight into an email or document. Honestly, once you use it, you will never go back to the default screenshot tool. It's available on Setapp or you can also purchase it separately for a one-time payment of $29 or via a monthly subscription. Next is Craft. Apple Notes is good but Craft is where I keep anything that needs to be beautifully organized. Think of it like a cross between Notes and Notion but with that clean Apple aesthetic. I not only use it for planning my video scripts but also for collecting research and even jotting down fun ideas. It supports links, images, checklists and everything stays neatly synchronized. If you're the type who likes your notes to look as good as they function, Craft is a joy to use. You can use the app for free with some content limits which can be removed via the paid subscription. Whenever I am brainstorming video ideas or even planning out personal projects, I open MindNote. It's a mind mapping app that helps me visualize my thoughts. For example, when I was planning a digital marketing campaign for a client, I started by putting the central idea in the middle, then branching out into different related aspects like SEO, social media, creativity and so on. It keeps your messy ideas structured and honestly it makes planning kind of fun. It gives you a basic free experience without paying anything but for anything advanced, you can opt for MindNote Plus for a monthly fee. Now something for pure writing enthusiasts, Ulysses. It's distraction free so when I'm working on scripts or longer documents, I don't get sidetracked. I love how it keeps everything organized in library and it syncs seamlessly with my iCloud account. For bloggers, students or even casual journaling, Ulysses offers one of the smoothest writing experience you will get on a Mac. In fact, it also has iPad and iOS apps and your documents are automatically synchronized across your devices. Ulysses has both monthly and annual plans and as I mentioned earlier in this video, you can get it via Setapp. Ever try dragging files across multiple windows and your mouse feels like it's doing gymnastics? That's where Ewing comes in. It gives you a little shelf on the side of your screen where you can temporarily drop files then drag them wherever they need to go. For example, when I'm moving multiple files around or dragging assets for a YouTube thumbnail, Ewing makes it effortless. It's such a small idea but it makes a huge difference. You can try it for free via trial and purchasing the full version will cost you $8.99. Building on that, Dropzone takes file handling even further. Imagine dragging a file and instantly uploading it to the cloud resizing an image or zipping it, all with one drop. You can even run shortcuts supported by macOS to automate your workflow. I use this tool a lot when sharing screenshots with clients or quickly moving files between folders. It feels like automation without needing to be a programmer. The free version allows decent functionality, but if you want the full experience, Dropzone Pro offers it all for a one-time $35 full license. Now let's talk storage. Over time, Macs get filled with hidden junk, random system files, old downloads, forgotten backups, I mean you name it. Daisy Disk shows you exactly what's taking up space using beautiful interactive disk map. Last month, I cleared out almost 40 GB of old files I was no longer using in just a few clicks. Instead of guessing, you actually see what's eating your storage. And did I mention its beautiful design? Seriously, it's one of those apps that's absolutely aesthetically pleasing. The app costs around 10 bucks at the time of making this video. For the performance nerds, iStat Menus. 
This little tool puts real-time stats right in your menu bar, like CPU usage, memory, disk activity, network speed, even battery health. Personally, I keep the network monitor visible so I always know if my Wi-Fi is acting up while uploading videos. It's also really useful when your Mac feels slow and you want to see what's hogging resources. You can even customize it with a ton of themes and tweak many different settings. A single license costs $12.59 and if you have multiple machines or you want to share it with your friends or family, you can opt for the family license for around $15. Of course, privacy is important. ClearVPN is a simple one-click VPN that makes browsing safer and lets you access content that might not be available in your region. For me, it's not just about security but also flexibility, like being able to test how websites look in different countries or sometimes access content that's not available in my region. The best part is you don't need to be a tech expert to use it. With just one click, you are instantly connected. The app supports a really clean UI, which is beautiful, functional, and intuitive. As for the pricing, you can either opt for monthly plan for $9.99 or the annual subscription for $44.99. Now we can't skip Clean My Mac. It's probably the most famous app on this list and for good reason. I run it once every few weeks to clean junk files, uninstall apps cleanly and optimize my Mac. A while back it cleared out almost 15 GB of cache files I didn't even know existed. It also has built-in malware scanner and a system monitor. Basically it's like giving your Mac a tune app. I also really like its gorgeous interface. You can try it for free via its 7 day trial but in case you decide to go for the paid route, Clean My Mac has both subscription and one time purchase models. And of course, it's also available on Setup. And finally, BatFi. If you use MacBook, this one's a must. Overcharging can slowly damage your battery health. While macOS does a decent job optimizing the battery life, BatFi goes a few steps further, like letting you set different charging limits. For example, I cap my battery at 80% when I'm mostly plugged in. This keeps the battery healthier in the long term. Another option is El Dante, which does something similar. BatFi isn't flashy but your future self will thank you when your battery is still holding a charge years later. I purchased it for $10 which I think was definitely worth the investment. So those are my 11 premium apps that have generally made my Mac experience better. Most of these apps are available through Setapp which is like Netflix for Mac applications. Instead of buying each app separately, you pay one monthly fee and get access to over 250 apps including the ones I just showed you. You can try it via the link in the description. Give it a shot and let me know which app from this list is your favorite. If you like this video, do give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Until next time.